This is an example of uh, simultaneity, or you could also see it as reverse causality, and how that can uh, cause a lot of bias when we're trying to estimate causal effects. So in this case, we're interested in crime, or the crime rate, which is our y variable, and then we're interested in, say, how many police officers per capita, which is our x variable. And so what we're interested in is what's the causal effect of x on y. This is a question that's been studied for a while in the economics literature. But there is also an effect of y on x that is maybe even more clear than the effect of x on y. Uh, we know certainly in the past, whenever there's higher crime rates, the usual response is to expand policing. So there's a positive causal effect of crime on the number of police, generally. So this can cause a problem when we're trying to estimate the effect of x on y if we were to just get some data and run a regression. So if you imagine we put the number of police per capita on the x-axis, and we put some sort of crime rate on the y-axis. Uh, but for now, imagine there's actually zero effect of police on crime, just to make this illustration very clear. So uh, there, there's no effect of police on crime, but there is a positive effect of crime on police. So if we find some city whose crime level is here, then we can follow it out and see, okay, they're going to pick this level of police. If we have another city that's down here with this level of crime that's lower, right, remember that crime has a positive effect on police, so more crime, more police, less crime, less police. So we'll just get something like this. And again, we're assuming uh, there's no then further effect once we go from crime to police, there's no feedback from police to crime. So once we get that dot, that's sort of where, where we are. So we'll get all these dots, and then if we regress y on x, we get this very positive slope. But because we've labeled crime on the y-axis and police on the x-axis, this makes us tempted to interpret the positive slope as saying, oh, more police cause more crime. Or in other words, a positive causal effect of x on y. But by construction of our example, we had actually already assumed that there was zero effect of police on crime. So we can very clearly see in this example, we would get this incorrect conclusion that more police cause more crime, when in fact that's due to this uh, reverse causality of uh, the fact that the crime rate then has a causal effect on uh, decisions about police per capita.